Have you ever felt like an imposter? Like you're not good enough, adequate? Everybody has those feelings, right? I'm gonna share something personal with you. I had a lot of ideas, you know, projects that I want to work on, new stuff that I want to learn. And I think that many of us, including many of my closest friends and family, we can sometimes feel like, you know, we need to achieve this thing before we can achieve that thing. You know what I'm getting at? Like, you need to become successful first before you can attain happiness. That's one of the most common reasons why people become entrepreneurs, for example. And I kind of struggled with this for a long time, you know. I felt like I wasn't enough. I couldn't start this YouTube thing unless I had awesome equipment. But you know, I have a phone, a lightning ring that I bought from my sister. Another personal thing that I, you know, sometimes dealt with, with was I had this idea of becoming a YouTuber. I had it for a long time. If you watch my old, one of my other channels, I'm not gonna link to. <laughs> I've been uploading YouTube videos since like 2013, you know. First it was gaming videos and all of that fun stuff. And I started, you know, this holistic engine. And then I had another YouTube channel. I uploaded like 10 videos on it and I deleted it. Why? Because I didn't feel like I was, I had something important to share, which I do. I do have something important to share. We all do. I felt like my responsibility towards the viewer, sometimes young people, they need to see that I can set an example for them. Of course, that's what I want to do. And so I struggled with this, like, in order for me to upload videos, I have to be this person, educated, whatever. You know, I dropped out of school several times. I'm not finished education. I work a normal job. That's all I do. But I try to, in some ways, better myself every day. And sometimes we can get lost in this personal growth. Mainly because we think that we're, in it, we're not enough. That's why we embark on this personal development journey, right? Because we feel that we aren't enough. People message you, but you're fine the way you are. No, I'm not. I've struggled with depression for like, I don't know, five fucking years beforehand. Now I'm in a much better place, despite whatever has happened to me. So I'm just a regular guy, I know, you know. I had this idea that I had to use this sort of system. I had to have this theme. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna upload whatever I want. I'm not gonna be hindered by my perception of what I'm supposed to be. I'm just gonna do what's in my best of interest and what is the best of interest of the viewer. You know, my English is funny, I know. I have a funny accent, <laughs> of course. I can recognize that, but recognizing ourselves instead of trying to... Of course, you're supposed to become a better person. That's exactly what I'm saying. But you're not gonna be stuck with the idea that in order for me to be happy, I need to be a better person. That's the issue here many of us face when we're on this personal development journey. So we try no fat because our dopamine levels are fucked up. And <laughs> we start exercise more, whatever it may be. So, but because we feel like we're not adequate, 
but we can be happy. You can be happy and still want to better yourself. You can still be satisfied with yourself, but not with the situation you're in and not what you want to accomplish. I think that we should not be satisfied by what we haven't accomplished yet, you know, by the accomplishments that we already have. I don't think we should be satisfied with that. We should be satisfied with us being humans. That's what I'm saying. And by being that, we can live a more fulfilling life. So for those of you who watch this, let's pick up the fucking phone, man. Start, start filming. You know, I started this blog post on my other holistic engine, which I'm not gonna quit on that one. That's for sure. You're gonna see me five years. I promise you that five fucking years. I'm gonna have the most successful supplement company on the face of this planet. That is a fact. That is a fact. That is something I'm never gonna give up on. So what the hell is this channel? This is me recording myself, my experiences. I guess you know this is my first video, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to talk about, but I can relate to my first blog post I made on Holistic Engine. It was awful. God damn. I wrote an article on the crab mentality. And the, the crab mentality is about when you put crabs in a bucket, they start to drag each other down when they're trying to escape. Because I don't know why it is like that, but you can view this in the lens of the human experience. That when somebody else is succeeding in life, you're trying to drag them down because it's lonely in hell. It's a common saying, it's lonely in the misery of human existence, or it's very lonely being miserable, right? So you want somebody else you can be miserable with. And that's the first step of recognizing this crap mentality that you have. I don't know where this channel is supposed to head. I created so many YouTube channels with a preconceived notion that like, okay, I cannot upload these types of videos because of this. Because that's why I quit on Holistic Engine, you know. I stopped blogging on that channel because I knew that I don't want my personal branding on that channel, of course. I'm gonna show to the world, this is Holistic Engine, this is my vision for that company. This is a vision for what I have in mind, but I'm not gonna plague the channel with my personal ideas. You know, this is a supplement company. It's not only a supplement company, it's a health company. I want to get in a place where I can be, produce high quality content before I actually put something up there. But the problem with that, it hinders me. It hinders my progress. Because if you constantly think I need to have quality before I can do something, bro, you're not gonna do anything. It's always gonna be shit in the beginning. I can imagine myself watching this video in five years time and like, damn, you come a long way. Now I'm sitting here with my AirPods, a lightning ring that I bought from my sister and an iPhone 11. That's what I had. Whoever views this, know this, just start. See where it goes. So this is, I guess, my vision for this channel is, I don't really have a vision. I have vision for other stuff. This is just me sharing my experiences, I guess. And why do I say all of this? Why do I get so personal? Because I found out I'm most happy when I'm just doing, you know? The quality is shit, but I can recognize it's shit, but I'm also learning. For example, I have uh, recently learned how to do HTML and CSS, started learning web development, it's really fun. So I had this idea of I'm gonna make a pizza blog and uh, I'm gonna apply what I learned 
And you know, <laughs> this website looks shitty. It's really shitty. <laughs> I promise you that it's really shitty. I think I'm gonna put some uh, a, a picture or something in the video or whatever. It looks really shitty. But it took like one to two days to build. But the thing is, yes, the results were shitty. The website looked like, well, it's decent. It's not ugly. I made my best to make it look proper, but the, all the things that I learned and finally applied, I realized I learned something new. I had to Google stuff, how to put, I'm not gonna go too deep in the web development thing, but I had to learn how to example, how to put a paragraph in, you know, you know, how to style it in a certain way so it fits the page, how to make it more responsive for mobile, and all that all that stuff that I learned previously, I had to relearn. Because if you have learned something and you never applied it, well, you're really not learning anything. That's the problem here. And so I tried to apply this method of thinking towards everything I do. Um, now, now that I'm learning web development and programming, I'm just gonna do it, it's gonna be shit. But the most important thing here is, am I learning something? I learned a lot of making that crappy website. A lot. I did that, <laughs> I can promise you. And uh, so, to conclude this, I guess, whatever you're doing, web development, learning programming, becoming a personal trainer, becoming a YouTuber, engineer, doctor, whatever you do for the first time, it's gonna be shit, it's gonna be crap. This video, comparing myself now from five years, I'm probably gonna have my own studio and uh, the quality is going to go up and that's what the first thing I learned you know when I created that blog my first blog post on Holistic Engine the first blog post was actually shit but the more I wrote my my quality actually went up I started to recognize okay and now I need to put some quality now that I know how to do this before you know how to do something, do not think of the quality. When, you actually, when you're getting a sort of hang of it, then you can focus on the quality. You know, after five blog posts, I started to realize, okay, now I know how to structure the page. Okay, now I know how coloring and styling works. Now that I know some CSS and HTML, I can structure my blog post in this certain way. Okay, now I can put in some quality. That's the same thing, you know, when you start on YouTube, okay, you're getting some monetization, getting some money out of this, okay, now I can take that money and improve. Perhaps getting a better camera, getting a better microphone, whatever it may be, but just start doing it. First, it's most important that you get the quantity up. Get the quantity up, and then you, when you get the quantity up, you get the quality up automatically. Because you're in this mindset of producing, you naturally start to incline towards quality. And this is the method of thinking that I'm starting to apply in everything I do right now. So, yeah, I hope you like this. And uh, subscribe, I guess. Stay healthy.